Hi, and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about bookmarking with Microsoft Edge. So it's important if you're using a browser to be able to bookmark something so that it's super easy for you to get to. We know how busy teachers are and how important it is for you to be able to get to your links and resources and websites quickly and easily. So the first thing you want to do before you begin bookmarking is you want to make sure that you've already logged into Zuni. So we want to make sure you've logged in so that you don't have to log in again. And when you bookmark it, it will open right up when you click on it to the page that you want to have in Zuni. So bookmarking means you're going to put a little link right underneath the URL into here. So it wouldn't matter where you are. If you have a link in here, you can go to any of these links. So the first thing you need to do to be able to do this is you need to be able to see this bookmark toolbar. And that's what this space right here is. This is the bookmark toolbar. Sometimes it's called the favorites toolbar. Oftentimes when, my, when I'm in schools and working on school computers, I notice that you don't see this, especially on student computers. So let me show you how to make this space appear first. So the first thing you need to do is over in the top right corner, you'll see where the blue circle is and there are three little dots. So when you're working with Microsoft Edge, the three little dots go horizontal. And when you click on it, you'll have a drop down that will come out and you will see the word favorites. So what you want to do is click on the triple dots, click on the favorites when that pop up opens up, and then you'll see this little settings gear. So if you click on the settings gear, you'll then have this pop up and notice right here is the favorites bar, show bookmark. So there's about three steps in there. Click on the little dot dot dot, click on favorites, click on <coughs> settings gear, and then here you'll have this chance to turn your favorites bar on or off. And so you'll notice right now it's off and I don't see that space. Notice how there's no space here? That's because it's off. When I turn it on, I'm then going to be able to have this space. And so any websites that I may have saved in this space, I will be able to easily access and they will always be here. So it makes it super easy once you know you have the bookmark bar. And again, like I said, a lot of times when I'm at schools, it's not definitely on student screens, the, the bar is missing. So the first thing you want to know is how to be able to find your bar and that starts over here in the white side. So once you have your bookmark bar, next thing is you're going to want to be able to simply be able to put your favorite websites into this bar. And all you do is go up here where the little lock is or maybe even on the words but try the lock and then just click on it and drag it into the toolbar bar and you'll get a little plus sign when you do that and when the plus sign shows up you can just let it go and you will then have it drug to your bookmark bar to your favorites bar and so once it's there it's super easy if you wanted to delete it you could simply right click on it and delete it it's easy to manage your toolbar. You just want to make sure you can see your toolbar. Not only can you just drag your favorite sites over here, but you can organize them through folders. So if you wanted to have a folder with various favorite pages in Zuni in one place, you can. Or maybe you have all of your favorite um, news feeds. You could have a news feeds folder and put all of your favorite websites into there. So it makes it super easy to do. So you just want to create a folder. And when you do, it will simply ask you to name it and you'll put the name in and then you'll have your folder. So Edge makes it really easy to create these folders. And you can even manage them more in more detail by clicking on the dot 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 and going into the folders. But for today, we're just showing you how easy it is to make your folders right inside your bookmarks bar. So once that's done, then we're going to go on and you will see that you've done a great job because you have found where your toolbar is. You drug and put your the dashboard right into link into the toolbar and you may have created a folder or two. So that's all it is in today's video. Super easy. Remember that you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is where our training videos are. And you can also chat with us. So over in the far right corner of your screen, you will find a little chat icon. Please feel free to let us know your thoughts, ideas, if you need to request content, anything you want to chat with us about. So today, this video, we talked about the adding your favorites and folders, and you've done a great job. And so we hope that you will continue to have a happy time Zooming. Thank you for joining us.